Hello Gemini, Gemini Rising, and Gemini Moon people. This is your weekly astrological and card horoscope for the week starting October 23rd, 2017. And of course, just a quick reminder for all of y'all out there, if you ever want to get a session with me, you can always follow the links below or go to integrativemysticism.com. And don't forget your monthly astrological horoscopes for November are up on a playlist of their very own on the main channel page. So, what is going on with your astrology this week, Gemini? Well, we have a lot of good <laughs> going on this week, especially on Thursday. We've got the sun in leap, I'm sorry, in Scorpio in your sixth house of work, reputation, and physical health, forming a gorgeous conjunction to Jupiter there as well. And whenever we have the sun and Jupiter come together, we have a big stroke of luck. And this could actually be good luck on the job or good luck finding a job that seems to be paying a lot more than let's say market standard. This may also be an opportunity for some of you who aren't even looking for work to transition into a schedule or into a work situation that does also offer the same kind of radical jump in pay. Jupiter and the Sun conjunct can also indicate popularity and rec recognition in this area in your community. Some of you may be actually, you know, getting ready to enjoy your 15 minutes of fame or a surprise chunk of public recognition, which again will come with its own share of rewards down the road. On Friday, we do have some very interesting angles going on. We've got it all about Pluto, which is in your eighth house of shared resources, passive income, and intimacy. And we've got Mercury in your sixth house, sextile Pluto, which is good. And we've got Venus in your fifth house of love and romance, square to Pluto, which is interesting. And when we look at Mercury square to Pluto, okay, sixth house to the eighth house, again, an opportunity for extra funds or a way to, you know, to kind of boost your, I guess you could say, your earning power or boost your income. Whether it's a, a one-time gift or a new regular trend remains to be seen, but at the same time, we do have some good payoffs. The issue that comes up here, though, around the same time, and it may not be related, but with Venus in the fifth square to Pluto, there could be some confusion over perhaps um, a certain intimacy issue that may come up or uh, maybe some confusion over a type of intimate communication with a partner or a crush. And, you know, Gemini, you guys, I like Geminis a lot. My first love was a Gemini. Um, you guys are really good at knowing that all problems can be talked out and it really is not the end of the world. Um, and these kinds of things happen and that's okay and as long as we can communicate and keep it out in the open then we'll get over it. Be careful to not do that right away and make sure that you hear whatever's going on, hear it out. Not all signs are going to be as um, capable, willing, or able in the moment to have that sit down that probably does need to happen. Um, just a quick heads up there. Um, because, you know, some people will interpret things and they'll stew and they'll, they'll, they'll let it, um, you know, congeal into problems. And, you know, you don't have to let that happen, of course, but at the same time, sometimes people just don't know how to handle the, the, the mercurial logic and reason approach uh, right away. So make sure that you don't go in, you know, don't, don't suppress it, but at the same time, don't try and dismiss it. Um, be present with a partner or a crush, because, again, sometimes these things can be very personal. For your spiritual advice, we do have the card of the wolf. And the wolf is talking about a need to pay attention to the health of your pack this week. Okay, when we talk about the health of your pack, those are your closest friends, those are your allies, that's your crew. All right, whether it's your work crew, or it's your family again, or it's your, it's your, your friendship circle. You know, pay attention to the health of your pack. You know, we always, the idea of the lone wolf is always kind of interesting to me because for the vast majority of the time, again, wolves are pack animals. They are community animals. And when we get the wolf card, it's basically saying you need to pay attention. Look, the health of your crew, the, you know, how in sync we are, the health of our pack, you know, you need to check in with people this week. You need to make sure that these bonds are strong and everyone is working together as a strong team. How you boys doing? How you girls doing? You know, this is a week where we need to be re-cementing those bonds and we need to be making sure and checking in. You may discover that there could be one person or two people this week who are, you know, not in sync. They may be in, they may be having some issues. They may need some help that you can help them with, but they're not speaking up for whatever reason. And there's definitely a call, again, because it's eventually, again, the health of the pack, you know, depends on the health of the individual. One for all, all for one. All that good stuff. And this is a week where you got to be keeping an eye on that. <clears throat> 
For your Earth sector, when it comes to work and finances, we do have the Six of Pentacles upright. And this is a lovely card, because um, I always say this is one of the few cut and dry yes answers that comes in the tarot, you know. And when we get the Six of Pentacles upright, we do have a yes, an acknowledgement, an authorization, all of that good stuff. Um, this could actually be a yes answer or a higher for a lot of you. If you've been, inter if you've been interviewing, um, if you've already been filing job applications, sending out resumes, you've been in talks, um, either a proposal has been accepted, an application's been accepted, um, or even a negotiation has finally been agreed upon much in your favor thanks to that Jupiter-Sun conjunction. The Six of Pentacles often does show up as some kind of gift or assistance uh, financially that could be coming your way. You may not be asking for financial assistance, um, literally, or, or vocally even, but there seems to be some kind of prize or, again, some kind of gift or boost on the way for you, which, of course, we already saw with the astrology as well. For your communications with air, you got the Five of Cups upright. This is why we got to pay attention to our pack. Five of Cups. Remember, this is your friends, your relatives. This is not you. This is your friends, your relatives, and the others in your life. And the Five of Cups does indicate that there will be news of some kind of loss, um, you know, or some kind of grief cycle beginning uh, for one of our nearest and dearest, you know. And again, this may not necessarily be someone related to. This could, this might not be uh, a boyfriend-girlfriend situation. This could be, you know, just a close friend, your BFF or whatever. There may be, you know, there could be a breakup. Um, there could be some, you know, some stroke of bad luck for him or her. And the Five of Cups is saying that, you know, it's going to be up to you this week, I think, to go and pull them out of that river. And it, you may, you know, and I think that you want to make sure that you're available to that. You know, this whole theme is about the strength of your pack this week. You know, again, the stronger your crew, the stronger all of you are together. You all share in that energy. It's kind of like, you know, it's like a meal, you know. It's like we all put in and we all take out. Um, and the better quality that we're putting in, the better quality we're getting in, you know, as far as our nutrition is concerned. So this is an opportunity this week. Um, this person's going to be needing some help. This person's going to be needing some love. Make the time. For your challenge this week with fire, we do have the Two of Cups upright. Um, while this is all about a week of you doing just fine, <laughs> um, the challenge of the Two of Cups can indicate um, a sit-down or a heart-to-heart or um, a wall coming down that maybe we kind of didn't want to come down right away. Uh, this may be between you and, and a partner or a spouse. Uh, this may be between you and a relative. Usually with the Two of Cups, this is going to turn out to be better for everybody and bring us closer, but it's so uncomfortable as a challenge and so vulnerable making that we may accidentally skip it. And we don't want to skip it. We don't want to be that person who misses a good opportunity because they, they don't want to be uncomfortable for two hours. And the Two of Cups upright is saying it's a challenge, you know, that is your challenge. And again, there is a bonding happening here. Um, the Two of Cups can also indicate um, maybe actually keeping a bit of emotional transparency. There may be some things going on that you're afraid to share for fear of disapproval from, you know, with, with a BFF or a partner or a sibling or something like that. And the Two of Cups is saying, you know, it's not about, oh, we, you know, don't lie, Gemini. Geminis don't really lie, but what you might do is you might omit. Again, love you guys, but, you know, you want to, I mean, th it, there's a difference, but, you know, you can be transparent with this person, whatever's going on there. For your emotions with water and your romantic life, we've got the Five of Pentacles reversed. Beautiful card for love and romance, because it does indicate second chances for a lot of you uh, single Geminis out there. Um, if you feel like you've missed an opportunity with somebody, whether it was a crush, okay, the Five of Pentacles reversed is saying that, you know, again, something is coming to kind of fill that void. Um, whether it's the same person or somebody who's just similar or somebody with, uh, I guess you could say, where, where the, the style of relationship, the, the, the emotional connection, again, would be very similar. The Five of Pentacles reversed does indicate some kind of recovery from a loss or recovery from a missed opportunity. And so a lot of you may be actually noticing that coming your way this week. When it comes to those of you who are currently coupled, the Five of Pentacles reversed is indicating that your partner <clears throat> and you will both be getting um, something back that you thought you were never going to have again. Again, this could be lost opportunity, lost money. Things happen in life where we kind of feel like we have to put something on hold. or And I kind of feel like this is something the two of you shot down because you didn't think you could do it, and you kind of regret it. 
um, this is something that you will actually have another chance again to give another try. So that is your horoscope. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe. You know I appreciate it. And of course, if you ever want to get a session of me, you can always follow the links below or go to integrativemysticism.com.